the Tiamat system, M35, Eastern Fringe. Whether it was a previous galactic consumption or the wonders of the cosmic winds, even when we look back at the Tiamat system from the perspective of the 42nd millennium, we still don't know for sure how the organisms we would come to know as Tyranids truly arrived in the system. But we do know for certain, later comes from the Eldari. This system is of significant importance to the Tyranid hive mind as a whole in more ways than anyone could have realized. From Imperial records, we know that upon entering the system, the Exploratory fleet encountered a double binary system containing seven distinct and unique life-containing worlds, as well as a score of lesser unimportant planetoids. Upon further inspection, they noted that every single one of the seven life-bearing worlds had something deeply concerning in common. Every single world was teeming with dangerous life forms, whether it was jungle, ice, desert, or a barren world. Every one of them was declared a death world. After some study, they noted that every single creature across the system, leaves, fish, birds, insects, atmosphere, microbacteria, every single one of them had a shared ancestor. Soon enough, they were attacked by deadly creatures, and some accounts given claim a tendril of some sort reached out towards the fleet. The fleet then quarantined itself in system and continued to transmit as much data as they could before they were overwhelmed and utterly destroyed. After many attempts at eradicating the threat present on the life-bearing worlds, foremost of which were massive fusion bombardments targeted at the main world of Xeophoria. But alas, the bugs just evolved, and the Imperium could not hope to understand how out of their league they truly were. Eventually, a group of Eldar Rangers enter system and make their way to the jungle world of Xeophoria. As soon as they begin to explore the surface, more and more of the Eldari fall to their knees convulsing the closer they get to this landmass. Eventually, it becomes clear that the world itself is alive, as a massive, chitinous creature said to be the size of a continent resonated with so much psychic power that the Eldari had no choice but to flee. Later, when a Death Watch kill team was sent into the system, they arrived on Xeophoria and quickly encountered the same continent-sized creature that the Eldar had fled from previously. Unlike the Eldari, who were either faster or by some form of luck, the Death Watch were not so lucky, as the massive creature sent out a psychic shockwave that fried the neurons of the kill team's librarian. This alerted the hive mind, and this tendril specifically, of Tyranids in system to swarm upon the retreating Death Watch. Watch Sergeant Yunheim manages to get a single Vox transmission to the Corvus orbiting above. Soon enough, the Corvus had docked and had fled system to Watch Fortress Halt mode. And soon after that, the Ordo Zeno swooped in to cover things up. Thanks to an acolyte Titanus, we have received some more information not yet covered up by the Ordo Zeno. When High Fleet Tiamat eventually came in system, it was quickly clear that the jungle world of Xeophoria was of far more importance than any other race in the galaxy could have expected. At first, what was assumed to be massive seismic activity soon became perceived correctly as convulsions. All across Xeophoria, massive fleshy spires began to appear. First a couple of large spires, slowly compounding until a new mountain range spread across every meter of the planet's crust. Gene Stealer Cultus from Heinrich Mark soon entered the system and became the first to touch down on the previously mentioned Xeophoria. The first humans to touch the surface with their bare skin were instantly and utterly enthralled by the sheer psychic force emitted by the Tyranid organism. They convinced their not yet enthralled brethren to head to the stars and form the newly formed Creed of Tiamat to any Imperial who would hear them. It has since been declared off limits by almost every single faction. Unique to High Fleet Tiamat, 
Thanks to the previous fusion bombing by Imperial vessels, these Tyranids quickly evolved thick carapaces that are nearly impervious to kinetic or, in or energy-based weapons. If only the galaxy had known of the threat that the Tiamat system had posed to every living organism, be it our galaxy or the intergalactic void. <laughs>